Hello. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a template in MailChimp. So if you've been watching through my MailChimp playlist, you will see that we've gone through super duper basics, what do all the buttons mean, and we've looked at how to send your first email. And I did another, e another video tutorial about how to make a template from scratch because I realized that there's different ways you can make a template in MailChimp. Basically two ways, from scratch or from an existing email. So the last video tutorial was all about how to make one from scratch and today I'm going to show you how to make one from an existing email. The reason you might want to do that is because it saves you a bunch of time. Like if you feel like, oh, most of my emails, it has a header, it has a little video, it has a little this and that a few buttons you know if you have your own basic things that you always do again and again you don't want to have to be resetting the colors and resetting your share icons every single time so if you have a bit of a template it's going to save you a heap of time and chances are that one of your existing campaigns that you sent out previously has all of what you need all the features you need to make a new template so i'm going to show you how to do that now if you're doing this I mean, obviously this is not entertaining, right? This is not for fun. This is because you want to learn how to do MailChimp. So please don't sit here and watch me raving on because it's going to just put you into overwhelm. Open up your MailChimp, press pause and pause me. Pause me, unpause me, pause me, unpause me because I go kind of fast and I don't want to freak you out. So right now I'm just opening up my MailChimp. Hopefully you can see it. Here it is with the dashboard. Um, there's campaigns. And templates so that's when we were making a template from scratch we went into templates but this time we're going to do it through a campaign that we've already sent through an email we sent in the past so again there's two ways you can do it if you're in the middle of a campaign and you're like this is gold I want this to be a template you can do it at that point but what I have usually done is I've gone oh that last email I sent here this was pretty good this would be a pretty good um, template. It's got the right header, it's got a bunch of buttons and stuff. So then you can replicate it. What you do is you click over here and you go down to replicate. And what that's going to do is when it finishes loading the page, at the top of the list, there's going to be one called copy of blah blah blah. Not right now, next time. So it doesn't matter about these details about where the email's going because you may not actually send this email. This is just for the sake of making a template. So it doesn't matter too much what you do at this point. In fact, I'm just going to kind of make, here you go, main list early week, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even, I'm not going to change that because my main objective is to make a template. So don't worry about all these bits too much. Just get yourself into design. Hopefully it'll take us straight to design. See, it skips template because we're using an existing campaign. So it doesn't need to choose a template. Now, the reason that you would use an existing campaign is because it has the features you want. So it has the pre-header, I'm quite fond of that. It has, I'm like, yes, this is the right image. I don't have to tweak it. It has my font already there. Oh, it's got a video. Oh, it's got a block. Oh, it's got some different size font. Oh, it's got a button. Cool, it's got some more. Plus all my social shares are done. In fact, I'm gonna add one more social share because I've just been working on my SoundCloud a bunch. So this is how you do that. SoundCloud usually just backslash and your username is enough but you might just want to check it because some are a bit tricky so this would work for me as a template right it's got all my features the other option would be i might try to get this purple and these purples to be actually matching but i'm not going to do that right now because i'm trying to show you how to make it a template it's super easy you're going to just think why did you waste time doing this but there's this button here save as template and all you have to do is give it a name and click save I'm not going to overwrite because it obviously already existed as something else I've given it a new name then I'm going to click save your template has been saved and will appear under save templates when you create a new campaign. So you can return to the campaign. And what I would do is just get the heck out of there. 
go straight back to campaigns and delete that because that you could accidentally send that. It's not going to be a good look. So I would just delete that. You have to type delete to confirm, which is good of them. And now when you go into templates, that one that we just created will be there waiting for you. And it's not really that helpful right now, but the next time you go to create a campaign and you go through the whole process, you're going to create a campaign, a regular campaign. You choose your list. And then when you get to template, your template is going to be there waiting for you. Here it comes. Oh, let's make another fake one. Me and my fake emails. Okay, cool. Template. We can go to saved templates and there is the one that we just created. You just click select and then boom, when we go in to design the email, half of the work is already done. So we don't have to import the image again. We don't have to change the colors of the buttons or set the font again. It's all ready to go. It will preview in a second. It's just taking its own sweet time. So I hope you found that helpful. The other thing you could do is if you're in the middle, say I'm writing this email and I'm like, dude, this is all the good features I need. Um, then you just click save as template and go through the same basic process again. So that's basically it. There's the two ways to make a template. I hope that's nice and straightforward. Basically between those two videos, you should be able to make a killer template. And if you like this, you can give me a thumbs up. If you want more, you can subscribe or you can stalk me out on any of my website or social media places where I'm hanging or join my email list. I love sending emails to people. It's nice to be able to have the privilege of being in your email inbox. So have a great day or night or whatever you're doing. I hope this helped and I'll see you next time.